Come, come, come round this side here. Hello, mate. How are we? There he is. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Dave, welcome, mate. Obviously, we all know what happened in Salt Lake City. I'm sure yeah. you've seen countless memes of you uh, telling yeah. them to pull it out of the fire and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Leon says that you're not going to be needed so much this weekend. Now, confident are you and your boy this, uh, coming into this weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it's going to be a totally different ball game this time. Obviously, we all know the um, altitude um, played a, a factor in the last fight, which won't be an issue this time. Uh, we've covered every aspect that we need to. We know. I think, well, 90% I'm sure sure that's going to be more of a wrestling game. Kamaro basically can only bring what his cardio in his wrestling A game and we're more than prepared for that. But we've got other some tactics we've worked on that we will be implying in the fight. But overall, um, Leon is, when I tell you he's got a fire lit under him, he's got a fire lit under him, lads. He seems he seems to have doubled down on the train as well, like he's treating it as it's half time. I think he, in his head he always knew, yeah. I have to beat this guy twice. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know we've got the doubters out there still, haven't we? And I think by him doing that, then people's going to look at this kid now and say, well, he is the real deal, you know, he wasn't a lucky kick. Even though those who, um, the connoisseurs of MMA, um, that look at the game in depth, um, realise that we drilled that kick um, on numerous occasions, and um, um, it came off. Um, yeah, and um, but this time, we're not counting on that, but win by any means necessary. Of course. Um, me, personally, I think Leon will either ground and pound him or chomp him out come round three or four or win a unanimous points decision. Well, let me ask you, because Kamaru is a formidable opponent. He, he was a champion for a long time. Yeah. And he does a pretty good impression of you as well <laughs> yesterday at the press conference. He nailed it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, listen, it is what it is. I mean, at that particular moment, um, it's like this, as you know. When it's all... Well, this is when a coach is, you know, steps up. He, he steps up to what he needs to do. And uh, with no disrespect to all my team um, colleagues, I'm the elder of the of the clan and been around the fight game for a very long time. And um, the technical part of that at that particular point, yeah, we still need to imply tactical um, things to him, but. He needed that lift, he needed yeah. that drag, he needed that somebody to shake him out of that um, mindset that, that he was yeah, in, yeah. that fog, you know? Well, yeah, because it's like, listen, you can talk about strategy all day long, you've got 60 seconds left, that's it's right. the final round, you can talk about, you've got to do this and you've got to yeah, do that, but it's like, hold right. on a minute, what have you come in? Wow, that's what right. It, this is your last chance, this, this is your it. final round, this come is on, that's is this it. what you did all this sacrifice, oh, blood, life. sweat and tears, that's right. this moment, pull it out of the bag and that's it was right. an amazing speech. Well, it is what it is and I mean, uh, it is what it is. I don't, um, anybody that can take uh, solace from it in any walk of yeah. life, that's a bonus, but Leon needed that at a particular that time moment. and the rest is his yeah. Listen, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, just to let you know, I've had the t-shirts printed, mate, so we're, we're oh, going to be gosh. flogging them outside the O2, <laughs> right? That's all I'm saying. Make sure I get one. Love <laughs> yeah. button price, yeah. <laughs> one thing I want to ask you, David, and that's yeah. because when you've got a fighter as hungry as Leon that has gone through what Leon went through just to finally get that belt wrapped yeah. around his waist, there can be a sense of achievement, there can be a sense of, I'm here now, I've done yeah. it, I've achieved my goal. Yeah. Okay, uh, wow, it took me, my entire career was about winning it, I've won it now. That's right. Oh, do, you can step off, you mm -hmm. can step up. Mm -hmm. how, how has Leon reacted to becoming champion of the world? Well, his, his character and the per, his, pers, pers, uh, his personality hasn't changed. It's just that now, I think him winning it, it's, no doubt Mr. Bisbee will know it, it gives you that extra, I've done it, I'm here. Um, now I've got to prove to the world that it wasn't just a one-hit wonder. I'm the real deal, and I've seen a fire under Leon. I am telling you now, lads, I haven't seen um, since I've known this kid. And I think through winning this title, I've seen the desire for him to get there and win it through the years. But him winning it now, it's like... Um, Solidifies belief, doesn't it? It does, it does, it does. It makes him believe that, you know, um, and, and I think in his mind now, like everybody else, all the coaches and everybody, we've got to now let the doubters um, put this thing to rest, to, to let them know, I know this kid is the real deal. I, you know, I've watched this, train, this kid train um, along with the other coaches, and I know his heart, I know... People don't see and um, you know I know this kid's mindset um, and now he's reached his goal it's now he's framing his mind and I've said to him I'm gonna add an, um, an extra name 
to the name that he's got already. It's Leon Rocky Edwards, but we're now going to transfer to Leon the Legend Rocky Edwards. There we go. Yeah. There we go. So <laughs> we'll let you get on. With okay, you brother, thank you, you very much, one. boys. Thank you Look very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you sir. Okay, bye bye. There you go. Uh, Demarell, uh, Leon's uh, chief corner there joining us. I apologise as well, just in case. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, a couple of a couple of words just slipped out there from Dave. So apologies in the early hours of the morning if you're tuning in on BT Sport One. If you if you had some fruity fruity language.